KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 143. NASDAQ off 315. S&P's off 47. Gold. Gold contract flat, 19.22 an ounce. Silver also flat, $24.58 an ounce. Late sweet crude off 464. $97.31 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note uh, trading down seven ticks. At 120.22, the 30-year of 29 ticks at 145.17, and the 30-year right now, the 10-year right, and right now, folks, is yielding 2.61. King dollar, King dollar is up 117 ticks, trading 99.584. Euro 109, yen 123.79. The British pound 130 to one U.S. dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P first. What you're going to see, volume blows out again. You get expanded volume. You get lower price. Lower prices. Here we come. Uh, bottom line, you did the volume of 101 million shares. That's after making a high with 86 million shares. And guess what? Next leg down, I suspect we're going to get, we're at 446, 435 is game right now. And you can see what I'm doing here if you're watching Tiger TV. That's where we can come off the bottom the second day. There's some good high volume bars there. And that should basically save the market the first time down. And I expect once we get there, let me put this bar here so you can see. Uh, it, it, you have two different spaces, and they're very close to each other. And I expect that's where this thing is going to have some support the first time down. Now, that being said, that's because we did a .618 retracement of the whole move down. So most of the time what happens is this. You get down lower. That's about halfway down to the low, right? You go sideways again, and if that's what we do, Every time we go sideways, that's going to be building costs for the next leg down. That's how normally it works when you have a, a 0.618 retracement off a big down move. If we take a look at the NDX 100, the Qs, what do you have with the Qs? Same type of setup. Monster volume, 87 million shares. They're getting out of this as fast as they can. And with the Qs, right now we're at 353 and 340's game. It's the same type of setup. And what you'll see with the Qs, and this is always nice when it's like this, okay? You can see there's a high volume low that was set up from uh, January 24th. Then the place that I suspect it's going to, you know, get a little more support is a little bit higher than that. And when you have two of them together, that makes a difference because you can gauge the volume coming into it. If the volume's light, guess what? That's where the next bounce is going to come in the market. But these bounces, folks, are bounces in a bear market that wants lower price. Have a great night, a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow. It kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Yeah, look at him, folks. Sharp